You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. All right, last Tim we're going to cover for confession and absolution. And, and this is the neat thing. Confession and absolution flows out of the reality of our baptismal grace. Think of it this way. Luther once said, he kind of compared these the absolution to a life preserver that's like a, a rope that's thrown over a boat. Like if you fall out of the ship, which is the church, the rope is thrown and you are brought back into the holy ark of the Christian church. Your baptism. Baptism isn't something we do multiple times. It's a one and done. You are baptized. I am baptized. We don't say I was baptized, but I am am baptized. So when we look at confession and absolution, we can almost see this image, not almost, we have this image of being doused again in the waters of holy baptism. So one of the my favorite hymns is 616, Baptismal Waters Cover Me. And you have in stanza three, no actually stanza four, it says this, from your own mouth comes forth a word, your shepherd, meaning the pastor, speaks, but you are heard. Through him your hand now stretches out, forgiving sin, destroying doubt. The doubt we have is when we sin, am I saved? Does God still love me? Is my baptism still mean something? Yes, you are forgiven. Jesus died for sinners. He didn't die for the 99 who have no need to be forgiven. He died for the straying sheep. He died for the lost coin, the younger brother, the old bitter son. He died for them that they may be forgiven. He died for you that you may be his own forever. So when we look at absolution, think of it this way from now on. It's like, like when you come and you bend over, you, know, uh, you bend down and confess your sins. Your pastor then, you know, puts his hand on your head and absolves you. Imagine this. He's actually taking like a big 10-gallon bucket of water and just dousing you and saying, take heart, you're still baptized. Take heart, you're still loved. Take heart, you are righteous. You are perfect. Maybe that'd be the best way to enter a church. That's how a lot of churches are. You have the baptismal font right there. Maybe it'd be good to have like the doors douse you with water right when you walk in so you remember who you are as a baptized child of God. You're baptized into Christ, a child of paradise. And absolution reminds you of that fact, restores you to that reality, and keeps you as Jesus' own forever. So God bless y'all, and may you keep on singing hymn 616. Bye-bye.